Okay, you guys, on this video, I have created this amazing, well, I didn't create it, but one of my team created, that members created this amazing poster here to help you understand what foods you should be eating, what foods you shouldn't be eating, so that you can stimulate two parts of your immune system. So get ready, this is a good one. You're gonna to wanna to take notes. There are three food groups that I want you to lean into so that you can maximize your innate immunity and maximize your adaptive immunity. So get ready, excited to share this with you. Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and today we are gonna dive into what foods you should be eating to stimulate your immune system. So this is how complicated your immune system is, and I am gonna do my best to simplify this for you. We got such great feedback on our fasting video. So many of you guys shared that out on what type of fast we should be doing right now. And I just greatly appreciate the fact that we're getting this message out to people and showing you, your friends, your loved ones, that we have so much more control over our immune system than we've been taught. So on this video, what I wanna do is I wanna show you what foods you should be eating in order to stimulate your immune system. And I'm gonna break it down into three categories. So as complicated as this beautiful picture looks, let me try to simplify it for you. For Let me start with this understanding. You have two sections of your immune system. You have an innate immunity and you have an adaptive immunity. Your innate immune system is what registers a foreign invader. So if you come in contact with the coronavirus, this innate immune system is gonna find it and identify it and say, hey, we gotta get rid of this. This is not a good virus. This is something new. One of the challenges we're having right now with the coronavirus is it's brand new to everybody's immune system. It is a mutation of an old coronavirus back in the SARS and the MERS and back in those days. Those were coronaviruses as well. This is a mutated version of that. So for all of us, we haven't seen this version of the coronavirus and so our innate immune system is having to identify it and tag it. When it tags it, it tags it with lots of different versions. Sometimes it'll tag it with a neutrophil. Sometimes it will do a basophil, a eosinophil, a macrophage. It might tag it with a mast cell. Depending upon what the immune system requires, it will tag that virus as a foreign invader and then send it on to the adaptive immune system. So in the adaptive immune system, this is like your army. This is the system that goes, hey, we got a foreign invader in here. We've got to bring the army in to get rid of it. This is also the part of your immune system that is going to memorize the fact that you had this virus. So you need both of these immune systems to be working right at this moment in time. And what you eat and how you fast and how you take care of your body is going to determine how these two parts of your immune system work. Now, before I tell you about the foods, I wanna dive into there's one part of the immune system that is getting a lot of attention right now, and it's called your cytokines. And cytokines are the messengers from the innate immunity to the adaptive immunity. They're one part of the messenger system. And you're hearing a lot about with the coronavirus that there's a cytokine storm. So there is an overstimulation of cytokines. And I'm going to explain this when we talk about, when in the next few minutes, when I talk about what foods to eat, because there are there is a way to make sure that your cytokine system, that cytokine storm, doesn't overreact. And I'll explain that here in a second. Okay, so innate immune system, adaptive immune system, cytokine messengers, these are the three you're gonna work with when you start to dive into the next three categories of foods that I want you to eat, okay? First category, if there ever was a moment in time, it is right now that you should go keto. And I have done a ton of, of videos on this, go back and watch some of them, but right now we wanna keep our blood sugar low. 
If you go and you look at the people that are dying from this virus, the people that are the most immune compromised, many of them have diabetes. They have a lot or an out of control diabetes, not well regulated diabetes. So I am going to include in this video three studies so you can see that what they are calling hyperchronic hyperglycemia is limiting this innate immune response. So as your blood sugar goes up, your innate immune system goes down. So the, the higher and out of control your blood sugar is. So when you guys are over consistently over 100, and those of you that measure your blood sugar all the time, you should know that we want right now for you to be under your blood sugar to be pretty consistently under 100. If it's over 100, then the, and higher, you are muting down the innate immune system and it's not going to register that there is a virus even in town to tag. So that's the first thing is go keto. And I, you know, I like keeping my carbs somewhere between 20 and 50 net carbs right now. Um, so for if you're new to keto, you would do things like take the breads and the pastas and the fruits out, take the refined sugars out. That's the number one step right now, okay? But when you keep that blood sugar down, it doesn't just affect the innate immune system. We also know that the higher your blood sugar is right now, what will happen is you increase inflammation. And when you increase inflammation, you keep on stimulating the cytokines. The cytokine storm can, can persist. So when you bring your blood sugar and go keto, you're gonna minimize the cytokine storm as well. So you catch the keto, that's what the K is there for, helping the cytokine storm as well as, it, as helping your innate immune system. But that's not, that's not everything. If you go keto right now, you also will help your adaptive immunity. These are your B cells and your T cells. So just by that one food change, just by going keto right now, you stimulate the innate, you slow down the cytokine storm, and you help to organize and enhance the function of the adaptive immune system that's gonna go out into your body and find anywhere that there's a virus, it's gonna go out and grab that. So keto is my number one piece of advice because it stimulates these three different types of immune system, okay? Second, and I've got three studies I'll be linking in here so you guys can dive in and look at the science behind each one of these steps. Okay, second thing I want you to look at is I want you to go to eat more fermented foods. So if you're in my 30 day immunity challenge, you know I've been, I had one of the days is eat fermented foods. If you're not in my 30 day uh, uh, immunity challenge, just put immunity challenge in the comments and we'll send you a link. It's free and it's little tasks you can do every day to keep your immune system up. And one of them is fermented foods. So here's something interesting about fermented foods that I want you to know. So fermented foods, you'll see I put the F right there. That fermented foods really enhances this innate immune system, specifically leukocytes, which I didn't really outline here on, on, this, um, on this map. But leukocytes, what they found is when they took away any type of fermented food out of somebody's diet. So that's everything from just uh, a dairy all the way to sauerkrauts and kimchi. When they took that out of people's diets, they saw a decrease in their innate immunity. And, and I'll put this study in there, when they added it back in, the innate re immune response was restored. And it was restored, this was only after two weeks, two weeks of, of eating no fermented foods. And then when they added fermented foods back in, they restored this whole immune system. Now, what I loved about this study is they went on to even tell us what specific bacteria do we good bacteria do we need to be eating to stimulate our innate immunity and here are the strains okay you ready i can barely pronounce them but well i'll pass them on to you lactobacillus gasseri lactobacillus corniformis and lactobacillus delbrueckii and i and i actually did a google search because what they found is that when people took those specific strains of bacteria in a starter kit like a yogurt starter kit and they made their own yogurt with those three strains that within days they could see this innate immune system get restored and start to function at the highest level it possibly can 
Remember with immune system, we, what we're trying to do is bring your immune system up to its best level. And so many people are running around right now with a depressed immune system. So after days of bringing those bacteria back in, this per, the people in the study, it was a, is a person study, a human study, had a better innate immunity. So how cool is that? Okay, so now we're going keto and we're eating fermented foods every day. We're making our own yogurt, we're making some sauerkraut, making some kimchi, we're getting all those good bacteria to stimulate the, immune, the innate immune system. Now let's do the third thing. The third one is that I want you to power up your immune system with the right nutrients. And there are a specific set of nutrients that I want you to lean into. So they are vitamin A, vitamin C, E, zinc, and glutathione. Okay, so one, two, three, the, these five types of nutrients you can find pretty much in all greens. So right now you should be just powering up on the chard and the spinach and the cabbage and the, all the, the microgreens. We've been doing in my household a salad twice a day, big bowl of salad I'm putting on all of our plates. So lean into your greens. Glutathione rich foods are your cruciferous foods. So your broccoli and your cauliflower, uh, your Brussels sprouts. When we're not eating a salad in my family right now, we're leaning into those cruciferous foods. And then zinc and E foods are all of your raw nuts and your raw seeds. So right now, when we look at nutrients you should be actually eating, you're keeping your sugars down, you're leaning into the fermented foods, and then you're enhancing your greens, enhancing your nuts and your seeds, and you're leaning into those cruciferous vegetables. What we know about these nutrients is not only they, are they helping here with the innate immune system, but they also help with the function of the adaptive immune system. So when you're getting those nutrients and making sure you're getting them at the highest level possible, not only can your body tag this virus, but the, the messenger system can get to it. Now I've done videos on like the sun and exercise and chiropractic and sleep. All of those are really good for your adaptive immune system. So don't forget about those. But when it comes to food and fasting, Let's do the shorter fast, the intermittent fasting, autophagy fasting, and the 24-hour fast, and then let's go keto, let's increase our fermented foods, and then let's lean into those nutrients, the vitamin A, C, E, zinc, and glutathione foods, the greens and your nuts and seeds. And now, you're, I mean, you, you can't, you're a host that no virus is gonna wanna live in. You have got both ends of this immune system working at its best. Now I wanna finish with this thought. There are other things that, that shift this immune system. So you could be eating really well and there can still be things that will take you off track. So this is where toxins come in. So I ended up down a rabbit hole today of research on lead and cadmium, specifically those two, are causing the innate immune system and this cytokine system, this middle, middle, middle piece right here, to be deafened, like the, the, the heavy metals will deafen the innate system so you can't even register the virus is coming in. And when you have a lot of toxins in your body, you're gonna end up with a higher accelerated cytokine storm. So if there was ever a time to detox, it would be right now. I will be doing more videos on this. We'll be talking about what toxins you can remove out of your life, what you can be doing to get rid of those toxins. But I wanted to do this in a very stepped approach for you guys that have been following me. So you saw my video on fasting. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. Now you know what foods to be eating. You're gonna go keto, you're gonna eat fermented, and you're gonna power up with your, your nutrients. The next video I will be doing is gonna be on toxins. What can we do to remove toxins so we can slow this cytokine storm down and we can power up? We don't want this innate immune system to be deaf right now. We want it to be at its maximum, at its absolute best. So I finish with this thought. You are so flippin' powerful. This immune system is working in your favor. And I totally am in alignment with the social distancing and the masks and the hand washing. All you're doing over there, that's not bad, but all you're doing is you're stopping the barrage of this virus coming into your immune system. But at some point, there's a very good chance you're gonna come in contact with this virus. 
So what's going on with the innate immune system? What's going on with the adaptive immune system? Is the, are you gonna end up with an over-exaggerated cytokine storm? These are questions that I really want you to dive into and ask yourself, because you can be a bad host. You don't have to be a good host for this virus. You can get the virus and have very little symptoms because you did the work to make sure that these two immune systems were strong. So let me know, does that help? Give me feedback. Let me know what some of your favorite foods are that I mentioned that you're eating. And if you want into my immunity challenge, just put 30 day immunity challenge and we'll invite you in. And as always, share this out, subscribe to my videos so you get this series on the immune system that I'm doing. And never, never, never give up on yourself. You have the power, the virus doesn't. Hope that helps.